Hey guys, so today I got two things in the mail. Uh, first one is a uh, order from uh, Nerd Pens. As you can see, it's big and flat. It's a print that I ordered. Uh, I don't know what's up with uh, the post office that he uses, but they seem to uh, not process these uh, print orders very quickly because I remember this happened last time I ordered prints too, but yeah, it just took a really long to get here. Uh, I got a shipping notification on uh, November 30th, and yeah, it's finally arrived. Uh, looks like we've got a little hole right there, but doesn't look like it got bent though. But anyway, yeah, finally here, so I finally get to open it, so yay. Cut it to start it, because it is kind of a uh, Packed in a bit tightly, so I'll be real careful opening this one. So this is the third time I've ordered print a print from uh, Nerd Pens, but previous two times I ordered two prints. This time I ordered just one, but uh, Thomas seems to really like this size of padded envelope to just kind of sleep and hang out on, so that's kind of a bonus with this. So. Get it out. Already's kind of sit on it, but yeah, it's this uh, Mandalorian print of uh, the camp with the Sogatano. Let me pull this one out of its plastic, just so you can see it without the glare, a little bit easier. Here's a better look at it. Got number three of ten. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put it back in this plastic real quick. And Thomas just ran off to do some playing. Got a uh automatic laser turned on that he's running around for. Uh, he did uh, throw in a uh, bonus mystery pen of a uh, sake bomb. Uh, not a uh, drinker, so this doesn't really mean much to me, but it is pretty well designed. Previously, I had a uh, Irish car bomb pen thrown in. That was actually pretty cool because I had the DeLorean in the background since it's made in Ireland and uh, Marty McFly is of Irish descent. So that one was actually pretty cool, but yeah, it has a little sliding shot glass feature on it. Uh, and we got his business card with his thank you message. And uh, the other thing that I have ordered uh, it was something that's actually in the long time coming. Uh, so this is from uh, Mystic Vibes. That's a, a side company from uh, somebody who I used to order pens a lot from. Uh, Blast Bolt. Uh, took it on a more anime-focused direction, which uh, isn't really what I'm into much. Uh, so I don't really order pens as often from him, but he started this side company, uh, Mystic Vibes, over a year ago, and one of the early designs that he teased was uh, this shirt that I ordered. Uh, but yeah, uh, just kind of put on the back burner for a good long time. Uh, and yeah, he's finally released this shirt. He's been putting out a lot of uh, new uh, designs out, so kind of finally uh, putting some proper attention to this. There was a few different color options for this. Normally I don't go for black shirts, but I just kind of feel like of the color options that work best. I uh, kind of wish there was a uh, white option because I kind of feel like that would uh, pair off well with this design, but uh, it's a Loch Ness Monster shirt. Y'all know I'm fascinated by cryptozoology and particularly the Loch Ness Monster, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, it just kind of focuses on all that uh, 
weird stuff that a lot of people are fascinated by but don't necessarily believe in. Although there are a good number of people that do believe in such things. Uh, I was kind of hoping that uh, it would be focused more on like the cryptozoology and UFO type stuff. But uh, it's kind of focused on more of like a weird like magic center direction. Like you know lots of uh, wizards and mushrooms and other weird things like that which isn't necessarily my cup of tea but you know i do like the cryptozoology and ufo type stuff i may or may not get a few other things from them eventually but yeah mainly uh just one of this uh thomas is going crazy so crazy right now but mainly just one of this uh loch ness monster shirt from them uh so i'm gonna do my taste test now i'm gonna try uh, one of these uh white chocolate coins that uh Mag sent me uh, should be fairly straightforward in its taste. Uh, I've had a lot of uh, straightforward, just plain milk chocolate from the UK. It's actually pretty good. It's a little bit richer than uh, milk chocolate from America tends to be, but I don't think I've ever had just a straight white chocolate. So let me uh, get this open. Yeah, for how oh, thin it is, I was kind of expecting it to be softer, but. Yeah, it's actually maybe a touch sweeter than a uh, white chocolate that I'm uh, used to from America, but still uh, pretty good. Let me get one more just to kind of finish out the taste. I don't know, it might be kind of close to about the standard American sweetness. I mean, obviously it'd be easier if I had some American white chocolate to try side by side with it, but yeah, it's pretty good. So, uh, as uh, Pensacon is slowly but surely getting here, uh, trying to make some plans now, uh, Zach Galligan, who was uh, Billy Preston from uh, Gremlins, is going to be there. And originally I said I wasn't going to get his autograph just because I already have uh, it on a picture, but I was going to get a uh, photo op with him and the uh, Daffy puppet. But thinking I'm going to get his autograph on this uh Got this from Hot Topic while I was on sale. I think it was only like 12 or $13 when I got it. Uh, most obvious uh, place to get it would be like right on the box. I uh, like that idea because it uh, I could get some more signatures on it if I have the opportunity. But I'm also kind of considering taking the pop out and getting it directly on the hood of the car. You can see right there. Probably look good in like a thick black i would think but i don't know what do y'all think do you think i should get this on the uh, box itself or on the car let me know as for uh, other items i plan on getting signed i mean i've mentioned this before but obviously i'm gonna get this soak of pop that mag gave me signed by uh ashley Eckstein. uh i'm gonna keep an eye out for a uh quill pop from the mandalorian to get signed but uh if I can't find one, that's no big deal. Uh, now, uh, Jeffrey we Wasting, I believe is his name, who was uh, George McFly, uh, is going to be there. Uh, I was going to uh, order a, a replica of uh, A Match Made in Space, the book that he wrote. Uh, they got some, like, notebook replicas that you can order. Uh, I was going to order one of that, and... Uh, get him to sign in, uh, add the inscription, I'm your density, but then I realized, uh, he actually wasn't, uh, in the, uh, first, uh, Back to the Future movie, uh, got recast. There was actually a fair number of characters that got recast between the movies, uh, but yeah, he was in the 
second and third one with a lot of uh, prosthetics and stuff. Yeah, those movies, they used a lot of, like, prosthetic effects on their characters, actually. But, yeah, it was the old man, George McFly. And, I don't know, I'm just kind of not excited, as much excited about that now. Uh, I mean, he wasn't in the movies that much. Uh, definitely wouldn't get his autograph on a rap car like that since uh, that version of uh, character never had that book with him. Uh, and he never made that quote, so I don't know. I might not get his autograph now. Uh, I'm trying to think of uh, what other autographs I'm after and items. Uh, I do have a, uh, like, name or... Uh, Thomas is being crazy again. Uh, like a, uh, let me just go ahead and get it. <clears throat> lanyard, that's what I was looking for. I, uh, this lanyard, uh, shield replica that kind of considering getting, uh, Natalia Cordova Buckley's autograph on it, but Kind of leaning more towards just getting it on a print. I don't think her character ever had one of these on her. Maybe wrong, but I think I'm just going to get on a uh, print, though. I uh, doubt I'll find anything, uh, at least Monster Squad, Dracula related. There's not a whole lot of Monster Squad uh, merchandise out there, really, but uh, I don't think I'll get any Dracula things to get signed by uh, Duncan. Uh, uh, yeah, just kind of uh, rambling around thinking about items I want to get signed. And hopefully this will just still happen. I mean, I think it's looking pretty positive. I mean, there's already people getting vaccinated for uh, COVID, so there's still a couple months left. Uh, something else I meant to mention, uh, I'm officially one week away from my uh, next 11-day vacation. Yay! Uh, on Christmas Day, I'm going to be going to see uh, Wonder Woman 1984 in theaters. We do have a uh, theater in my area that's open at 40% capacity. They'll be showing it, so I already got my ticket purchased for that. So, uh, honestly, my expectations aren't too high, mainly because I wasn't uh, overly fond of the first Wonder Woman movie. Mainly, I didn't like the humor, and uh, I hated the ending of it. Uh, but... Hey, you know, I'll keep positive. Hopefully, I'll enjoy it. I, in general, love seeing movies in theaters, so I'm just really excited to do that again. It's only the fourth time I'll get to go to the movies this year. Uh, and, uh, obviously, I'll be taking my three-day New Orleans vacation during that time, too. Currently, I don't have any other plans during that time, but we'll uh, see what pops up.